Hello and welcome to the Meet Around the World show. Today from the beach here in Costa Rica, where I, this is a true story, didn't catch a, a single fish again. <laughs> All right, no sweat. The family's hungry though, and me too. But I have an idea. You wanna know what? Get, get to camp, fire up the grill, and see what's in the freezer. Ooh, they're coming home. Let's get that little freezer trick ready before they see me. Let's see what's in the freezer, because Fridge looks pretty empty. And I have always something up my sleeve. Up my freezer. That seems big enough for today. Oh yeah. What is it? Ooh. This is a signature porterhouse steak from Nicaragua. Oh, my favorite. There you go. So it is roughly uh, it's about 900 grams, almost a kilo. It should feed the whole family, I think. Yeah, and um, I'm so excited. But it's frozen, you'd think, right? Solid. <clears throat> well, actually, that's what I was going to talk about today. Done a video before about that, but uh, frozen is actually better than taking it out and throw it out and then grill it. You grill it right away, frozen as it is. Just gentle until it thaws out on the grill whilst grilling. And then again, you give them a, a, a real sear. All right, it's almost like a reverse kind of grill method, but um, yeah. Anyway, I'm hungry. And by the way, I'm a meat eater anyway. So yeah, whatever. Let's leave the fish in the sea. <laughs> All right, here's the deal. We're gonna make the fire now, and we're not gonna create a too big a fire, but also, once it starts to burn and, uh, and the charcoal starts to ignite, uh, when all the paper has uh, burnt off, I already start to grill a little bit, so it will it would thaw out the, the steak, right? And by the time the, the charcoal is really hot, then I would now, I would then go and stir it a little and create a little more heat even, put it on the red hot side of the grill and sear it real good. So we would get that nice crust and keep all the juices in the steak. Oh man, very good. Talking about juice, the little bit of, Low quality vegetable oil. Bug spray igniting the fire. Very dangerous, but <laughs> ah, I'm still a kid, I guess. While this fire is starting here and getting up to temperature, we're gonna talk some meat. So beautiful here, I love it. Yeah, we've been camped here for about four or five days. It's on the Pacific side of Costa Rica, pretty far south. Next bigger town is called Uvita. And uh, yeah, it's gorgeous. I mean, why not go fishing? I love fishing. I love passing time at the sea and uh, fish, but you know, I, I also like, I have to admit it, I, I like to catch fish too and fry it. Yeah, or just chop it up and put some lime juice and eat some ceviche raw. Oh, I love that. Instead, over the last four days, I bought ceviche from the vendors that passed by here like twice. <laughs> Still got my ceviche, didn't catch my own fish though, but yeah, anyway. That's how they sell the ceviche here and everywhere. 
costs about well between a dollar fifty to three dollars a, a top like this and uh, I like it with Tabasco or any other hot sauce essentially what it is it's raw fish chopped up and they put it in lime juice then you chop onion cilantro a little bit of uh, pepper yeah salt and pepper and Bob's your uncle mmm yeah no fish but we have a steak and we have a great steak and um, I just want to emphasize how good Nicaraguan beef is and uh, even here in uh, Costa Rica where everything costs a lot <laughs> it really is the most expensive country in the whole uh, central uh, no, yeah, whole of Central America way more expensive than Mexico and uh, I would say it's like you know food shopping and all it's like America or Switzerland it's pretty much the same although meat is cheaper and uh, sure if you wanna I mean we usually buy the imported meat uh, imported from the states like the Angus and all but yeah I find the quality not so great usually I mean it was better in, in Guatemala we had wonderful meat in Guatemala imported meat and uh, not so much here but you get Nicaraguan meat and you get Nicaraguan meat same brand I think I believe it's called Signature. Uh, you get that in El Salvador. You get that in uh, in all these Central American countries. Maybe even further afield. I don't know. But Nicaraguan beef beef is really good, really good. And we've been to Nicaragua. There you can buy it for a fraction. Although it's even hard to find the good. I mean the good the good cuts. You know, like the ribeyes and the and the porterhouses and the tenderloins it's hard to find them in Nicaragua because they export all that good stuff you know uh, for a profit and uh, in Nicaragua beef is very cheap and the quality is good in Nicaragua you can buy you can buy top sir sirloin which doesn't have a lot of fat and all so, but you still get a very good cut of beef and you can make uh, you can make uh, even you can grill it you just take it off the grill, like medium rare to rare. Oh man, and the roast beef you get from that stuff, man, I'm, I'm salivating. Yes, so no, I, I had no problem finding good meat in the whole of Central America. Yeah, you find good, good quality Nicaraguan beef and it's not that expensive. Even here, I bought like that, uh, what was it? Uh, almost a kilo porterhouse. And it set me back about thirteen dollars. Yeah, thirteen dollars. That's not bad. That's really a good price for a good quality uh, cut of beef. So yeah, I'm very happy. I mean, we we had um, we always found good beef here. Good, good, good meat in general. I mean, pork. You can you can buy pork pretty much anywhere. It's good. And um, and uh, but you know, every now and then you just want to have a proper steak, right? proper ribeye, proper tomahawk. And actually, I still have a tomahawk in the freezer, but today, since we're not throwing it out, we're grilling it because of an emergency. I didn't catch any fish, so um, we have to take the porterhouse. It's a little thinner, and we can grill it right away, frozen, which is my preferred method if it's frozen, but you can't really take a big chunk of meat and do the same thing, because it'll because it takes too long and it will get burnt on the outside. So, but with a smaller cut, like a, a steak, you can do that. And it really keeps the juices inside the steak and it makes for a good steak. So yeah, let's get to it. I'm hungry. Oh, look at that bad boy. Beautiful. Gotta scrape the ice away here. Uh, here we go. It's rock solid. And it's a signature Nuevo Carnic Nicaragua meat. Oh man. I've had that in El Salvador. I've had it in, uh, in Costa Rica. I've had it even in, uh, I can't remember, did I have it in, uh, in Guatemala too? Maybe, yeah. It, it is it is a very good brand and I mean look at it 
Look at it. Oh man. And we're gonna grill it frozen. Bet you haven't heard of that before, have you? Anyway, so the fire is just, you know, the, the paper has burned off and it's got like a little bit of heat in the middle, but we don't, we don't want a lot of heat. So what we do is we cut that thing open here, get it out and frozen as it is, and you know, there you go. Put it on top of the grill. All right, low and slow. Just turn it around a little bit, let it thaw out gently. The fire is still small, and if you time it right, the fire will be just raging by the time you can sear it off. Advice on a porterhouse or a T-bone. So you got the tenderloin part here, which doesn't need as much heat because it's the more tender side. You want this side, the New York strip side, you want that to be a little hotter. So, because this should not be overcooked here at all. So, yeah. Oh, look at it. So I'll keep this a little bit more on the side while I'm grilling or thawing out the steak here. And it already gets a little bit of color here and there. And you know, it's like an inch thick, so it won't take that long to throw out on the, on the heat. And once the fire is raging, and I think I timed it just right, it will be just right to sear it off real quick and eat it. So at this point, I would salt it. No point in salting it when it's still frozen. Look at it, wow, that is so beautiful. You can tell now, it's already thawed out. We can start searing it. Put it to one side. Make it really hot to sear it off properly. Oh yeah. Jetzt dreis. Oh, hop. Woo! Haha, <laughs> look at that. And, oh, scorching hot. Let's put the pepper. Yeah. All right, well. So this is our fish and chips tonight. Yeah, fish and <laughs> chips, right? Well, it's a uh, porterhouse and oh, noodles with tomato sauce. Spaghetti. <laughs> <laughs> That's beautiful. Yeah, Cheers. It's one of our favorite meals, actually. Okay, there you have it. How to grill a frozen steak in case uh, you have an emergency like we just did, or I did. No fish, but no sweat. Beautiful. All right, family. <laughs> I'm gonna try it now. Oh yeah, you should. Mm. <laughs> Zoe's enjoying it. <laughs> oh, look at that. Oh, medium rare. Mm. All right, let's uh, try. Yes. Medium rare. Mm. <laughs> That's good, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Man. Mmm, Nicaraguan beef, if you never had it, I can highly recommend it. It's got a very good taste. It's leaner than, um, well, it's from the Brahma cows. It's not Black Angus, but it's it's leaner, but it's still, it's got a very good taste. Good flavor, yeah. Yeah. What do you think, Zoe? Mmm. You like the meat? Yeah. Of course. <laughs> Let's try the tenderloin part. Mm -hmm. I'll just rip it with my hands here. Tenderloin. How mm. tender it is. Try this. Thank you. Oh. You want some, Zoe? Mm. Here. It's even better. Oh. Mmm. Oh. That's good. <laughs> Man. I skipped the pasta. <laughs> yeah, I haven't served any on his plate yet. <laughs> no. I'll eat the meat. Mmm. <laughs> you did a good job. Thank you. All right, now you know how to grill a steak uh, frozen. frozen. Yeah. 
and um, all about Nicaraguan meat and uh, a little more about uh, Central America, where to buy meat and blah, blah, blah. Well, from the Playa here, Playa Linda in Costa Rica, thanks for watching and we'll meet you guys around the world. Bye now. Adios. Bye. Ciao, Zoe. Hasta luego. <laughs> <laughs> There's so many vultures around the camp today. They're smelling the meat. Oh, yeah. That's good. That's good. Mmm. I'm gonna get messy now. Not good. Not good.